I just made it to Florida, and it's really just sinking in that I'm gonna- Hi, my name's Tristan Quaid, and I want to take this story back to the beginning. I gotta get a measuring tape because I want to see how much snow we've gotten. Seven and a half inches, and it's not gonna stop. Now that's how you clean your car. Hey everybody, this is Tristan Quaid and I'm gonna be heading down to Florida this week and I am packing my bags right now. So currently I have one suitcase packed and then I have my other bag. So I'm gonna be taking this and then I have to pack up all of this. I have these clothes right here. So I am pretty much close to being done with packing and my desk, you know, is going, but I have my computer chair and my other computer screen in the car. It is so close to the final hour. And then this is the new calendar face for the month of March. I am going to be leaving work at four o'clock instead of six. So I can go spend some time with my family and get everything packed up because I need to one, run to Walgreens and get my other little film that they couldn't process, unfortunately. Just got off the exit at my hometown and I am headed to my parents' house right now. I have the whole car packed. Currently I'm dropping some stuff off at my parents and then we're gonna go head up to the bar because my mom does DJ karaoke for a living and we're gonna do some karaoke tonight and it's gonna be super exciting. So I'm gonna drop my stuff off and then we'll you know, hit the town. So I am working from my parents' home right now. Here's my little setup for the day. And we're heading off tomorrow. <laughs> officially hot tub time. It's my final night in Michigan and then I'm getting up at 5 a.m. to hit Chattanooga. Good morning everyone. It is 4.30. I actually woke up five minutes before my alarm, surprisingly. I have my backpack, the car is warming up, and I'm ready to go say goodbye to my family first, so. 20 minutes to Angola, Indiana. <clears throat> I have 330 miles till empty, and I am on the road. I got a little Wendy's sandwich, and I got coffee, and I'm on the road for the next eight hours, but I'll at least stop once or twice. It is 6.56 in the morning. I've been on the road since 4.50 and I am somewhere in Indiana. I just saw past Yorktown. That was a sign I just saw. A semi, I'm going 74 miles an hour and some semi just passed me and I'm like, okay, damn. I'm just getting to Louisville at 9.13 a.m. We're going over to the bridge. We are gonna be hitting 65 in the south. And we're gonna wanna go towards Nashville. So I just had some lunch with a vodka soda at Jonathan's American Grill Style House, and it was delicious. I got a Chipotle chicken um, flatbread, which was delicious. So this is what $60 gets you for the night. So today was such a long drive, and I'm right near the highway. This is Highway 75. Interstate 75 runs all the way from Michigan through Knoxville all the way to Florida and crosses over to Fort Lauderdale, if you didn't know that. So I woke up at 3.50, so I decided to get on the road at 4 a.m. 
I'm currently at a Circle K, and then I'm gonna grab some coffee, get on the road. Apparently I'm supposed to be there at one o'clock, so feels crazy. I feel sort of cracky. Good morning, I got up at 4 a.m., maybe 3.50 a.m. But it is 7.14 right now, the sun is coming up. I had some Wendy's for breakfast, and I got a large ice caramel macchiato. I am in Georgia, past Atlanta around 5, 6 a.m. And now it's 7.14. And I have almost six hours left to drive. Hey everybody, it is a gorgeous day here. I just got out of the car to stop at a welcome center, which, you know, it's pretty welcoming. And I'll show you in just one second. So I just got into Florida and at the Welcome Center they offer freshly squeezed orange juice. I just made it to Florida and it's really just sinking in that I'm going to be spending a month on Anna Maria Island and I was just thinking I'm like oh my god when I get there I'm gonna unpack and then I can get my bike and then I can ride to the beach in the morning and I just freaking relax in the sun it is 78 degrees and I'm excited if you haven't tell if you can tell if you can tell oh my god so I have about three hours of driving left and I am feeling much better for the drawbridge, but we should be going across soon. So, let's hope and pray I can get there in about 10 minutes. I'm halfway unpacked at my Airbnb, and there it is, that's home for the month.